Namaste everyone, hello, and welcome to day six of your practice. Today we'll be focusing on Ajna Center, our third eye point. So this is the center between our forehead, but it's located deeper inside in the pineal gland, center of the forehead, but center of the head, center of the brain. So going deeper inside. It's a very powerful point that's helping us connect already to, to the crown chakra. And already you're noticing this, this shift of energy as, as we're moving up these rungs in the ladder of chakras. It's a very powerful point. And I want you just to feel it physically first. So you can use your, your ring finger if you want and place it in the center of your, of your, of your eyebrows, between your eyebrows. And maybe you feel like a little hollow space there and just press it. Press it gently. Maybe even make some circles here just to connect with third eye. And just, just say they're feeling, feeling the sensation that this brings. Gently release the finger and let's begin to bring our palms together and let's begin to open with the chanting of Aum, with the vibration of Aum. Taking a deep breath, allowing the shoulders to be relaxed, keeping the spine straight, but not adding any tension to the body. Keep it open and keep it soft. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. And exhale. Welcoming new friends into our life. Welcoming the energy of nature into our life. Deep inhaling. And exhaling. Connecting with the joys of, of animal life, of plant life. Let's begin to inhale for Om chanting. Deep inhale, baby. Om. Two more. Let's tune in to the vibration of Om. Deep inhale. Again, one last time, feel that powerful vibration as you tune in, deep inhaling. Bowing our Ajna center to the tips of our fingers. Stay here feeling the energy of your third eye connecting to the tips of your fingers. Gently opening the eyes. Hari Om Tat Sat and Namaste. Welcome to your practice today. So certain rituals that we do in our practice, that we've been doing in our practice. Placing the hands in heart center, already this begins to open on a Hatha chakra, right? Bowing the tip of the forehead down onto the fingers, already we're connecting with Ajna center. So we've already been connecting with all of the chakras throughout the practice. Maybe you've been aware of them, maybe you haven't. But it's about gently growing with their practice and already we're connected with our body spiritually. We're connected with our bodies mentally, but do we have that awareness of that innate connection, right? Because that's what part of yoga is to yoga is this connection with the divine. We are already connected with the divine, but are we aware of that? We are already connected with our bodies, but are we aware of that? So already we've been activating heart chakra for a long time. We've been activating Ashna chakra for a very long time. But now we're adding more awareness to what's going on with our bodies and connecting all of that with our bodies. 
So what we practice a lot in Ayurvedic massage, Ayurvedic therapy and Thai medicine is working with certain acupressure points and reflexology points and marma points. Here in the third eye, we have the stapani marma point, which is a very powerful point. It helps you with concentration, with focus. It helps you with relaxation, with relaxing the body, and it helps you to, to sleep better. So when Ajna center is centered, when it's unblocked, you sleep better, your hormones function better, you think clearly, you concentrate better, you're more calm, you're more relaxed. When it's imbalanced, you lack intuition, you lack focus, your mind is always scattered, and you're not really connecting with, with your mind, with the psyche. Ajna is our bridge to that pineal gland, to our psychic abilities, to those more what you would call spiritual qualities, right? And I feel like spirituality, sometimes that word spiritual is just a word for things that we can't really explain or connect with physically, but it connects us with deeper levels of energies in our body. The pineal gland is a powerful point in the body. They say that the soul rests in the pineal gland, right? And you can see this in, in many walks of faith. It's just a very, very powerful point in the body. So today we'll be working with this energy and connecting with the, with the third eye center. So again, I want you to gently massage the tip of the forehead here. And whenever you're stressed, whenever you can't focus, or if you're studying, just give yourself a gentle massage there and awaken your third eye center. All right, stimulate that marma point. Stimulate that powerful vortex of energy that you hold in a third eye center. So we're going to start our practice today with some pranayama practice using Kabbalah Bhakti, that breath of fire. This time at the end of the breath, at the last pumping, we're going to inhale, we're going to squeeze our root chakra, those sexual organs down there, and then bring the energy up to our navel center, squeeze the navel center in, and then channel the energy upward, gazing towards our third eye point, coming into a mudra, Shambhavi mudra, we call it, right? Third eye gazing, closing the eyes, gazing towards the center of the forehead, Shambhavi mudra. It's very powerful. So if it's too much for you, skip it. Don't, you don't have to do it. You know, this is your journey. This is a video that you can rewatch at a later time. But I want to give you that freedom to, to challenge, challenge yourself and also to give you that freedom to come back later. You don't have to do everything in one, in one sitting. You don't have to do everything now. You can come back to it later. So be respectful of your journey. Be respectful, be respectful of which chapter you're on now. And give yourself room. Give yourself, uh, give yourself space, ether, to breathe and to grow in this practice, right? This practice is designed to help you build a foundation and gently go up the ladder. You don't start from the bottom and then skip all of these steps and go to the very top. You take it step by step by step. So coming into a comfortable seated position, Gyan Mudra, thumbs and index fingers touching palms, radiating towards the heavens as we inhale, preparing for Kabbalah Bhakti. First, just inhale. And as you exhale, just relax the shoulders. Deep inhale again. And exhale. Inhaling for our first round of Kabbalah Bhakti, inhale. And begin pumping the navel. Exhale all of the air out. Squeeze the navel in and take a deep breath in. Hold the prana within your body as you squeeze your sexual organs, tucking the navel in, tucking the chin slightly in, back straight. And see how you feel as you begin Shambhavi Mudra, 
gazing towards the third eyebrow point, the third eye point. <laughs> Feel the energy here, channel the energy upward for five, four, three, two, one. Gently exhaling. So at the end of Kabbal Vakti, we're working on these locks in the body. We call them locks because we lock these parts of the body to keep and hold the prana in so that prana doesn't escape, but rather we're channeling this pranic energy up towards our spine, towards the third eye point, eventually towards crown chakra. So we'll do Kabbal Vakti again. This time, a few more pumpings than what we did before, and this time holding the breath slightly longer. So again, deep inhale. And exhale. And let's inhale to begin pumping. Deep inhale of the breath. Hold here as you squeeze Mula Bandha, root chakra, Uriana Bandha, navel, throat chakra. Hold, tuck the chin in and gaze, Ajna center. Stay focused, stay concentrated and feel your energy rising. Gently exhaling through the nose. And just seeing how your energy feels as it moves throughout your body. So a lot of the energies are very subtle. So if you don't feel anything now, it takes practice, it takes time. Maybe you're more sensitive. Maybe you're feeling lots of energy. Maybe you need to relax a little bit. Maybe it's too much energy. You know, you are your best guide. Follow your intuition. And part of connecting with this indigo orb of energy in the Ajna Chakra is to connect with our intuition, to listen to our inner voice, and to allow that to guide us, to listen to, to our higher selves and a higher sense of awareness. And that's what we're working on, to listen to our bodies and to connect with these subtle energies that are always there, but that tend to be dormant, especially our pineal gland. It tends to be dormant in most adult beings. So we're going to begin in Balasana today. So allow your knees to be as wide as your mat. You can use a cushion on your tushin if you want to. And this time we're going to place either one fist or maybe two fists stacking upon another and just resting our forehead there. Stay here for a few moments, just connecting with your forehead center, connecting with Ajna center. Stay here breathing. Stay here relaxing. And if you're using two fists, come lying on just one fist. Relax your left hand or relax your right hand, whichever fist you're not using. Take a deep breath in. And let's begin to bring our arms toward our back, toward our feet. Allow your forehead to rest on the mat and gently begin to sway your forehead from left to right, rocking on your forehead and just massaging Ajna Center. Baby pose, 
Why is baby pose so restorative? Why is balasana so restorative? Well, you're activating your stapani marma point. You're working on this wonderful point in the body that's so powerful and restoring your energy and bringing peace of mind in your body, connecting with your inner child and you're basically isolating any, any sense of, of stimulation. You're isolating light, you're removing light. You're removing all of this external energy, this external stimulation, and, and you're massaging an, import, an important and vital part of the body. Marma points are intersections of energy, kind of like a highway of energy, right? There's all these intersections and intersections in the body. So that's what our chakras are, and that's what our marma points are, these intersections of, of energy. Staying here for a few moments. Deep inhale. And exhale. Begin to walk the hands forward. Deep inhale here. And exhale. Gently coming into a tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees, hip distance width, you know the routine, and you know how much I love to open up the spine. So inhaling, and exhaling. As you inhale, begin to gaze past your ashna center, inhaling, and exhaling. Push away from the mat, feel the earth. Inhaling, gaze past, Ajna Center. Helps to close the eyes in case you feel a little funny, a little dizzy. And inhaling again, arch the back, gaze up. Exhaling, pushing away. And inhaling, coming up again. We'll begin to come on to our toes, walk the hands forward, and come into our first downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet, the legs, by bending one knee in, followed by the other, gently pushing away from the mat. When you're ready, you come into a nice neutral position, softening the back of the neck, maybe gazing towards your navel center. Maybe gazing towards your knees. Push further again, extending your arms. Deep inhale here. And exhale. Let's begin to gently walk it forward one step at a time. Taking your time, no rush. And when you're ready, just allow your head to hang low. And maybe you grab opposite elbows, allow this blood to flow to the crown of your head, allowing your brain to be nourished with more blood, allowing your third eye point to be nourished with more blood. Relax and soften the back of the neck. Let's release our grip. As we inhale, we slide the palms down to the shin. Inhale, gaze forward past the third eye center. Exhale, slide down, allow the blood to nourish your brain. Inhaling again, slide the palms up onto your shins. Your knees can be bent. Respect your journey. Gaze past Ajna Center. And exhale here. And again, one last time, inhaling, gaze, Ajna. And exhale to the earth. Begin to uncurl vertebra by vertebra, keeping the chin tucked into the chest. As we come up, we open our shoulders, we open our chest, and we radiate energy to the earth, to the world. Palms facing forward. Begin to interlace your fingers, your hands, right thumb over left or left over right. Inhale, slight arch to the back. And exhale through heart center, keeping the palms in prayer. 
again will grip interlace inhale gazing past your eye center and exhaling coming down into prayer again inhaling to gaze past third eye center and exhaling down to the side we'll move through a flow of surya namaskar sun salutation just connect just to connect with this strong energy of ajna chakra our focus will be on our third eye point as we move through the slow sun salutation so here in tadasana we take an inhale and we exhale to pramasana inhaling urva hastasana exhaling forward keep the spine straight pada hastasana hands next to your feet we inhale we step the right leg back inhale gaze forward and up past the third eye center i like to keep my eyes closed but you can keep your eyes open follow your intuition as we exhale we grip the mat lifting the left leg and silently pressing it next to the right hold in here in mountain pose feet together deep inhale and as we exhale we come into the chakka holding the breath out dropping onto the knees the chest and the chin notice how the elbows are tucked in inhaling for bhujangasana cobra gaze past the third eye center exhale lower and push into mountain feet stay together and as we inhale we quietly step the right foot forward as our left knee comes down top of the left foot as we inhale gaze past the third eye center and as we exhale we find a nice foundation in the right foot and we allow the left foot to meet the right soften the back of the neck inhaling all the way up to urva hastasana salute the sun and bring that energy down through ajna down to anahata and down to tadasana we begin to work our ida side our left side inhaling here exhaling anahata inhaling salute father son exhaling bring the energy down to the earth Hara Hastasana. Inhale, left side steps back, gaze forward and up past third eye point. Exhale, firmly plant the palms, lift that right foot, step it back quietly. Exhale, all of the breath out as you push away. We hold the breath out and we lower. Inhaling forward and up. exhaling push away to mountain inhaling left leg forward gaze past ajna exhaling right to meet our left foot inhaling up extend those arms forward and up exhaling through heart center So why do we do Surya Namaskar? Why is it so important? It helps to bring the sense of balance with Ida and Pingala, the left channels and the right channels, and allowing the inner channel, Shushumna, to be cleared, to be more balanced. So we'll continue that. Slightly different this time, coming into Chandra Namaskar, our moon salutation. I want you to envision a nice crescent moon in the center of your ajna in connecting with this nice intuitive energy of this moon quality. So we're going to bring this moon into our forehead here. Chandra Namaskar is very similar to Surya Namaskar. 
but it's more cooling. Inhaling here. Exhaling, Anahata. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, forward and down. Inhaling, left foot steps back. Again, reach those palms up. Radiate that moon energy in your ajna. Exhaling, plant the palms. Push away, lift that right foot. Mountain pose as you exhale all of the breath out. Hold as you drop. Bhujangasana. Inhaling forward and up. Gazing past third eye. And exhaling, pushing away. Inhale that left foot quietly. And reach those arms up. Exhaling, we plant the palms. The right foot quietly steps to meet the left. We soften the back of our head and we inhale forward and up. Exhaling through heart center. And again, deep inhale. Exhale heart. Inhale up. Exhale forward and down. Inhale, step the right foot back and drop onto that knee. This time we inhale, reach those arms up and we slightly arch the back. Salute the moon. Gaze past your third eye and bring the moon energy to your inner forehead, to your inner eye. Exhaling, bring this cool energy down onto the mat as we lift that left foot and we step it back. Exhaling all of the air out. Knees, chest, and chin. Elbows tucked in, preparing for Bhujangasana, Cobra. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, gaze past. Third eye, exhale. Still feeling the moon energy in our forehead as we push away through the mat. Inhale, quietly step the right foot forward. Gaze up past the third eye. Feel the moon, feel this crescent moon in your third eye. Deep inhale here. Exhale, strong foundation in the right foot as we lift the left to meet the right. Drop the head, drop the neck, soften. As we inhale, we extend our back, we extend our arms. Come all the way up. Exhaling through heart center, down to our side. We'll do one more round in this time. We'll connect that with Kambala Bhakti Pranayama. So stay strong with your energy here as we inhale in Tadasana, as we exhale in Pramasana, as we inhale, and as we exhale all the way down. Step the right leg back, this time keep it lifted. As we inhale for crescent, gaze up, and exhale, plant, lift, that left foot up, push away mount and hold the breath out, lower. Come into your cobra. Exhale into your mountain. Now we step the right foot forward. Find a good foundation here. We'll be here for a while as we inhale, reach up. Stay strong here. Move that right hip slightly back. Level out those feet, those hips and gaze upward, begin Kambal Bhakti, deep inhale. Deep inhale. As you pull the energy up, pull the sexual organs tight and pull your locks, gaze back, gaze past your third eye. Hold the breath, hold the breath. Stay strong for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those hands to Ajna. 
bring those hands to anahata and when you're ready plant the palms step the left to meet the right dropping the head down be mindful of your energy as we inhale come all the way up again exhaling ajna anahata sadasana inhale Exhale, Anahat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Left side, step the left leg back. Inhale, reach those palms up. Exhale. Plant and lift. Pushing back, we hold the breath on the exhale. Lower, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, mountain pose. Stay strong as you quietly step the left foot forward. Find your good foundation. Inhale, reach those palms up. Deep inhale and begin. Deep inhale, hold the breath. Gaze past Ajna. Hold, stay strong, channel your pranic energy up towards the third eye point, up towards the heavens for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Ajna. Anahata. And back to the earth. Good foundation as we step the right foot to meet the left. Mindful as you come all the way up. And Ajna, Anahat, and Tadasana. Amazing. Feel the energy moving through your body. Feel the energy radiating through your body. Let's begin to <laughs> lower onto the mat. We'll come into a strong Bajrasana. So sitting on the heels, knees together, legs together. Or if it's too much for you, you can come into Sukhasana easy pose, an easy seated position. Listen to your intuition. For here, we'll begin to come into the Venus lock. So interlacing the fingers. For men, it's the right thumb over the left. For women, they say left over right because right is that masculine energy and left is that feminine energy. But I think we embody both elements. We embody these these both feminine and masculine qualities. So choose your version and place the index fingers together like this beautiful little mudra gun. As we inhale, we extend. And we'll begin Kabbalah Bhakti here, deep inhale. And let's begin. Exhale the breath out, squeeze the navel, and inhale, gaze up, gaze past the third eye point, close your eyes, and hold. Squeeze the root lock, squeeze your sexual organs, tuck the navel in, gaze past third eye, and feel the energy rising for five, four, three, two. Gently exhaling, keep the arms extended. No one said lower the arms. Stay lifted to the chest. Stay lift, lifted to the underarms, through the triceps and biceps, through the forearms. We'll continue again. Inhale. And let's begin.
Exhale. Deep inhale, stay strong. Keep those arms lifted. Keep those shoulders relaxed. As we inhale, we pull our sexual organs together. We pull those locks. Mula Bandha, Uriyana Bandha, pulling the chin lock as well. We're just keeping that chin extended as we gaze towards Ajna. Inhaling up. Hold. Maybe you squeeze more. Maybe you take another breath in. Hold, hold, feel, feel, pull, pull, pull up. And as we exhale, palms come into prayer. Exhaling through the nose. Hands to Ajna, hands to Anahata. And coming down onto our thighs. Feel the energy moving through your body. Stay strong in your body, stay grounded and always listen to your intuition. Kabbalah Bhakti, why do we do that? It purifies the blood, it energizes the body, it releases carbon dioxide from the blood, from the body, and allows the new flow of prana to enter. We're detoxing our lungs, we're detoxing our bodies simply by breathing. It's a powerful breath, which also helps us to channel our pranic energy up towards body and it's very energizing it's very invigorating so this is why we practice kapala bhakti but if you do feel too much in the abdominal region then always take a break and sometimes it's challenging just to listen to our inner voice to listen to our intuition let's come resting in balasana arms can stay extended relax the shoulders relax the upper body Perfect. So if you're in rock position like I am, or if you're in seated, make your way to Vajrasana, this beautiful rock position. Give yourself a room to have on the top of the mat. We're going to begin to grab opposite elbows and place them on the mat. Interlacing the fingers and pressing the pinky against the mat. We're going to come into a dolphin variation. So for this, we're going to lift the hips up and begin to lift the knees off the mat. Extend, walk them slightly back, walk your legs slightly back, and stay here holding, allowing your forearms to carry you. Feel the energy moving now through your heart, through your ajna, down to your crown. Stay here, deep inhale, and exhale. Make any adjustments that you need, deep inhale and exhale. Strengthen your shoulders, strengthen your arms here. Hold, deep inhale and exhale. You begin to lower into a little plank position and then push back into a dolphin. Again, lower forward and push away. Connect with third eye center. Begin to also feel the crown of the head. All our chakras are connected. Our entire body is connected. Hold here in dolphin. If, if you can, begin to walk your feet closer in. Hold in here. Keep the navel tucked in. Extend through the armpit chest. Extend through the armpits. Maybe you walk your feet closer in. Deep inhale. And exhale. Feel the fire, deep inhale. And exhale. Last breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, lower knees, Vajrasana. Rotate the hands, rotate the shoulders. Feel the fire moving through your body, feel the energy building through your body. And just to finish our practice, will come into a seated position. So maybe you place your opposite leg in front. Maybe you place your opposite leg on top of what we did in the beginning of practice. We're going to come into Anuloma Viloma Pranayama, alternate nostril breathing. This helps to cool the body down. 
and this helps to bring homeostasis to our Ida and our Pingala channels. So for this, Gyan Mudra, left hand, palm facing up. For our right palm, we begin to make a little fist, extending a thumb and index finger. Let's, be, let's begin to cover our right nostril, inhaling through the left. Exhale left. Inhale left. And hold the breath. Exhale right nostril. And inhale right nostril. Cover the right nostril, relax the right shoulder, hold here. Exhale through the left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. If this is too much for you, you can always exhale and release. Hold here. Exhale, right. Inhale through the right. And hold. I've noticed that swallowing helps to retain the breath. Exhale through the left nostril. Inhale left. Cover left. Almost there, stay strong. Exhale right. Shoulder relax, elbow relax down. Inhale right. Cover and hold. Exhale left. And release the hand back down. Thumb touching, index finger touching. Stay here, breathing deeply, feeling all of this energy that you've built in your body, connecting the lower centers with the higher centers, connecting your body, your mind, your spirit, realigning yourself, realigning your body, welcoming new energy into your life, welcoming, welcoming new energy into your camino, into your path, into your journey. You can stay here for meditation, you can lie in Shavasana, you can light some incense and just stay allowing the smoke to clear your energy. Thank you so much for joining me again in today's beautiful practice and for bringing your energy wherever you are in the world. Continue to allow that energy to shine and to radiate. I bow to you. Hari Om Tat Sat and Namaste.